Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. New Strzok page text reveals FBI was discussing possible special counsel to investigate Hillary Clinton. Did Attorney General Lynch refuse one? It says on Thursdays, Inspector General Michael Horowitz told Senator Chuck Grassi, a Republican out of Indiana, and Senator Ron Johnson, a Republican of Wisconsin, that the missing text messages between Strzok and Page had been located. Now, Senator Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassi sent an FBI Director Christopher Wray a letter demanding answers about some of the recovered Strzok Page text messages. In one exchange between the FBI lovebirds, the two discussed a possible special counsel to investigate Hillary Clinton due to the numerous conflicts of interest. Grossly is demanding to know if the Attorney General Loretta Lynch refused to appoint a special counsel. Grossly pre prefaced his questions over a possible special counsel by pointing out the obvious conflicts of interest that then Attorney General Loretta Lynch had in any investigation into Hillary Clinton. On May 17th of 2016, I wrote to FBI Director James Comey expressing my concern that conflicts of interest existed between the Attorney General Lynch and the Clintons due to her firm's prior representation of the Clintons in tax matters and the fact that President Clinton nominated Ms. Lynch to be U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York. In that letter, I also asked the then Director Comey how Attorney General Lynch's conflicts in the Clinton's investigation were any different than those of Attorney General Ashcroft's for which he recused himself in the, in the plain matter. Now, Ashcroft had prior professional associations with one of the suspects, just like Attorney General Lynch had in the Clinton investigation. Department regulations make it clear that when there is a conflict of interest or other extraordinary circumstances, uh, it is in the public's best interest a special counsel should be appointed. Now, in the plain matter, then Deputy Attorney General Comey believed a special counsel was necessary. However, to this day, Comey has failed to adequ adequately explain the difference between the plain and Clinton investigations. On March 18th of 2016, Strzok and Page engaged in a discussion about the possibility of a special counsel in the Clinton investigation and referenced Patrick Fitzgerald, who was the special counsel in the uh, Valerie Plame Plum matter. Now, so Strzok thought of the perfect person D can bounce this off of. Page said who? Strzok said Pat. You got to give me credit if we go with him and delay briefing and delay uh, briefing him on until I can get back and do it late next week or later. Page then said, we talked about him last night, not for this, but how great he is. He's a private practice, uh, though, right? Suppose you could still bring him back, and yes, I'll hold. Strzok then said, yes, he's at uh, Skaden in Chicago. I haven't talked to him for a year or two. Don't forget that Dad Comey appointed him a special counsel in the plane matter and that he was there for Comey's investiture. Now, Strzok also said, I could work with him again, and damn, we'd get a, he, we would get shit done, he said. Now, Page says, I know. Like I said, we discussed, uh, we discussed Boss and him yesterday. Strzok went on to say, and it frustrates me because Bill, at his 715, brings up the whole matter in front of his uh, dad's, DADs, one who was acting for Diane, Diana, who immediately goes to John and tells him how Bill is stressed because all the stuff is going on about a special prosecutor. Bill needs to learn to not talk to everybody about this when he's upset about it. And I guarantee that agent, while discreet, is certainly going to tell at least a few other people. Strzok also said, I'm sending, the next part is redacted, to the 830 with Jones so that I can meet with John. Page then said, did he go as far as to talk about why we are starting ta uh, talking special prosecutor? Strzok said, don't think so, in my office talking to John. Then Page, um, Page's response is completely redacted. Now later on May 13th of 2016, Page texted Strzok this. She said, hey, forgot to ask if you mentioned the whole special counsel thing to Andy. Senator Grassley is demanding answers after seeing this text exchange. Grossley also said, Congress and the American public have a right to know whether the DOJ and FBI considered the appointment of a special counsel. Accordingly, uh, please answer the, the following. 
One, did the FBI ever recommend a special counsel for the Clinton investigation? If not, why not? If so, did the DOJ ever explain why it did not appoint one? Did Attorney General uh, Lynch refuse? Two, where were there any le were there any legal memoranda or analysis of this issue prepared? Please provide all records relating to DOJ and FBI communications about the potential appointment of a special counsel for the Clinton investigation. It will be interesting to see if Loretta Lynch took more steps to protect her Queen Hillary by preventing a special counsel from investigating her crimes. It was only a couple months later that Loretta Lynch met with former President Bill Clinton on the tarmac at Phoenix International Airport. Shortly after that uh, tarmac meeting, boom, Hillary Clinton is exonerated.